Hey folks, it's Michael from the Film Photography Project and today we're going to be mixing and developing color slide film. Color slide film, known to most people as Ektachrome, this kit will develop anything that says E6. Develop E6, your film will say process E6. It's a three-step process. It's a one-quart kit and the process is first developer, color developer, and Blix, which is in three parts. Blix is bleach fix combined. Looks complicated, it's really not. This also comes with a killer set of instructions. There's a lot of detail here and everything you'd want to know is in the instructions. To mix your chemistry, as per the directions, you will need to bring your water up to a temperature of 111 degrees Fahrenheit. And to do that, I'm using one gallon of distilled water in a bucket with the FPP heat helper and it's already at 111 degrees. The FPP heat helper is nothing more than what's known as a uh, immersion circulator heater, AKA a, a heater for sous vide cooking. As per the directions, let's mix our first developer. Also important to have lots of paper towels on hand because we are dealing with water and chemistry. Keep your chemistry separate. You don't wanna co-mingle or get one chemistry into the other. It could kill your whole kit. You cured her. So I'm going to take some distilled water at the proper temperature. That's I, I just put enough uh, water in there so that we could pour the chemistry in and then I will top it off. And here is our first developer. All of these chemical bottles are factory sealed at the point where they're manufactured. You may also want to have a knife on hand. You cured her. Let's see if I can swing this. Oh, I know. Oh! Look at that, John. If you wanted to use a funnel for your chemistry, if it's easier for you, just make sure you rinse out your funnel in between each process. Let's bring it up to one quart, AKA 32 ounces. We want to keep things labeled. Notice I also have stickers. Uh, very important to, first of all, put the date that you mixed your chemistry so you keep track of it, and then what it is. You don't want what it is. You don't want to you know, commingle, like I said. I keep saying the same thing over and over because it's just so important. Number two. Number two. Step two, color developer. Number two, color developer has uh, two steps. Okay, this is uh, color developer part two. Now notice this one, the, the cap is a little, it's manufactured differently. It's, it's still sealed, but it just looks different than the others. It's fine. This is color developer part two. So I'm not getting any of this on my hands because I'm pretty familiar with like handling this stuff. But you know, if you think you're going to get it on your hands, you could like use like a pair of latex glove. You can get them at your pharmacy. Okay. Now we're going to top off our develop color developer. C D color developer. Nice. Okay. What's left? Blix. Blix stands for bleach and fix. Okay, and the bleach and fix are three parts. Okay, so here is our part A, B, very colorful. Blix C, tops it off. B for Blix. Instructions mention, you know, to mix it. So you want it to blend, a nice blend. You know. Now, unlike powder chemistry, liquid chemistry is easier to mix because it mixes so much quicker and you do not have to wait for the uh, powder to dissolve. So that's the end of this section, mixing your chemistry. Stick around and we're gonna be developing two rolls of Ektachrome E6 film. We'll be right back. Hey, we're back. I'm gonna be developing two rolls of Ektachrome 126 cartridge film. By the way, 126 film is the same size as 35 millimeters. 35 millimeter in width, the perforations are a little different, so it fits beautifully in your 35 millimeter development tank. I have two rolls in here. 
you know, you go through the directions, da 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 da. You know, we're not doing a rotary tube, nope, da 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 da. Hand tank processing. That's right, <laughs> yeah. It gives you various temperatures and times. I recommend the 100 degree temperature. Yeah. Because your colors will be a little shifted if you use a, a lower degree temperature. I also recommend using as, as the same system I use to mix the chemistry, which is the FPP heat helper to heat your chemistry to the 100 degrees Fahrenheit that it recommends. We did that. We have a separate video on the heat helper on our YouTube channel if you are interested. So here we go. Pre-wash. I already did that. I pre-washed my film three times. A lot of times when you pre-wash your film, you will see dyes come off the film. And I usually do it as many times until, until the dyes are gone. Step two, first developer. 6.5 minutes. I don't do too much measuring. A lot of folks measure out how much they have to put in there tank but I just kind of wait until I see it like at the top when I could see the liquid that's when I know that I'm at the top oh, and there it is terrific start my timer I don't get really stressed about the timer what I do is I agitate every 30 seconds and I just do I use the swizzle stick method so every 30 seconds I'm going to agitate then we're going to pour the chemistry back into its container because this uh, chemistry is reusable. Okay, our first developer, we're, gonna, we're done. Six and a half minutes, we're going to pour it back. Now notice the color, right? That's from the dyes. The dyes on the film put a color in your developer. And it, it's meaningless. So do not sweat it at all. Now I'm using water that is approximately the same temperature of what we're working on. Hot water. You don't want to you don't want to subject your film to like different temperatures, like hot cold, hot cold. That could result in something called reticulation. And we're just this is just rinse process in between the first developer and the second developer. Remember to to wash out your funnel, very important. You don't want to cross contaminate your chemistry if using the same funnel. Keep an eye on all your, your, your chemistry. Here's the chemistry we just used. I left it uncapped, bad. You want to squeeze out all the extra air, cap it, and ready for your next time. <clears throat> next up, color developer. Here it is. Once again, keeping an eye on it till it just peaks to the top. And there it is. Great. Start your timer. Stop, reset, start. And for our color developer, at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 4.5 minutes. I agitate every 30 seconds, and usually when I have time, I just, you know, try to clean up a little bit. Okay, oh, ready to go. Okay, so we're going to pour this back. This is color developer. Oh. And we're going to rinse this, as per the instructions, seven times, not four times. Stop, reset. Here's our last step. Blix. For Blix, at 100 degrees, 6.5 minutes. And I'm going to agitate it every 30 seconds. Okay, here we are at 6 minutes 30 seconds for the Blix. How fantastic is that? In the instructions, there is a very small type here somewhere talking about how, you know, as your, your kit ages, how you may want to increase development times and whatnot. It's all here in the words. Okay, it's going to go back into for next time. That is grapey. Goofy grape. But why they call me goofy, I don't know. <laughs> so, folks, that was our last step. The last... Uh, Instructions is to rinse for five minutes. So at this point, we can expose the film to light, let the, let the water run. <clears throat> and at this point, the big question is, of course, well, everyone wants to see their images. I mean, that's the most exciting part, right? Look at that. We have Limages. Oh, check it out. Color positive film. Look at that. 
And that is all. Here, here are our images from this role. I want to thank you for joining us. Have any questions, podcast at filmphotographyproject.com. We'll leave a comment down below, and we'll see you really soon. You killed her. I didn't mean to kill her. Really, I didn't.